Hey guys, this is Joseph from josephmastery.com and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be mainly focusing on the footer. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so to start off, we're going to open out our footer.php file. And what we're going to do, we're going to start the basic uh, HTML. Okay. So, um, it's going to be inside the container, and we're going to make a class called site footer, and this is this class is going to contain like um, our copyrights. Uh, we're going to have a footer menu and all that stuff. So we're going to make a oops copyright. We're going to make a paragraph and with the class of copyright or copyrights, and we're going to make a navigation the div class of footer menu. Now if you guys do not know like what I'm doing with these dots and then the name of the div. Um this is a biome text and it's a package called uh sorry it's a package installation called Emmet. And if you haven't heard of it you can search some tutorials to how to install Emmet and you can explore the features. Anyways back to the tutorial. Um let's just do the copyrights first. So we're going to do just gonna, um because our WordPress website's called WordPress Development. Okay, and then here we're gonna make a. After that, we want like a TM sign or like a copyright sign. So we're gonna make a font size 15. So in this span, we can have like a uh, copy. Um. Font family sans serif. Uh, we'll see how that looks like. So let's go back to upset. Let's go to about. Okay, so you can see right there WordPress development, and oops, it's right there. Okay, so let's just get to the styling. Um, let's go to the bottom, and let's pick a new section called the footer. Okay, and the first thing we're gonna do with the footer is style the site footer. So we're gonna have some padding of thirty pixels zero. Um, we want we want a minimum height. Of let's say around 100 pixels, and a background of a uh, slightly lighter blue for for F, I think. We'll save that and see how that looks like. There we go. Um, let's do a bit more styling here. Style the copyrights. So. Copyrights. So for this one, the text line to be center, a color to be white, um, a font we want to be bold because we've, we're going to have a navigation and we want this to stand out and it'll be 20 pixels. I think that's good. Okay. So just a quick check. Yes, that looks good. Go to our blog. Oops. There we go. Um. Okay, this is good for now. Let's get into making our oops navigation. All right. So if we look into our other other my he uh, my header, we have a navigation there, and we use this WordPress function. Now what this we're going to copy that. Now what this does it if is it it goes to our functions.php and it gets that registered navigation. In fact, we're going to register one right now. Copy that. And we're going to call that footer menu. Footer menu. Save it. And it goes and finds a theme location and then it takes away, I mean, it extracts that menu. And since Word, uh, WordPress has a default they have a dynamic side uh, menu, that's why we're going to use this function. 
Okay, um, save that. Let's go back. So there's the, you can see this brief menu right there. Now we want um, to create a new menu. Let's just do that right now. Uh, create new menu. Oh wait, what? I think I just had. One. Yes, I already have one. Okay, I think I did this off stage, off camera. But basically, what you want to do, you want to create a new menu. Call it footer menu. I've already done this. So I'm not going to do it. Click create menu, and then you want to assign it to footer menu. As you can see here, you want to click on the footer menu. Okay, so I already have some links. So just just put in some random ones. I don't want too much actually. We'll get rid of this one. Save menu. Push the page. There, so now I've got a bit more. So let's get into styling this uh, menu. Um, footer menu. I think we have that class dot footer menu. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we want to do. Actually, we'll leave that now. Enter menu. You start the UL first. We don't want any margins or paddings. We don't want any of that. Menu UL. Oh, I. In here, we want no list styles, so that get, gets rid of the bullet points. Uh, we want them to be aligned to the center. We want the color to be white. We don't want any text. No, actually, we'll do this in the. We'll just make another one first. This is just like styling any ordinary uh, navigation. If you guys have a better way to do it, feel free to use that method. This is just how I do it. Call F. Um, what's some padding of zero top to bottom and twenty pixels on the side? Okay. There we go. Okay, so you can see it's it's not it's still in a block state. Let me just fix that up. Let's go here. And what we are going to do is we're gonna display this in line block. And that should make it in a line rather than in a block state. There we go. Um why isn't it still centered? Let me just fix this up. I think it's this. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And let's add a padding here to give it a bit of space, top and bottom. And let's check it out. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm making 30 pixels looks a bit better. Yes, it does. So now we want to make a, a bullet point here, 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 here. Let's try if we can achieve that. So we're going to use pseudo elements for this. So every uh, before every single ally, this item, we're going to have a little bullet point. So we're going to give it a content of this little thing. Um, if you guys don't have that symbol, I'm actually not too sure how I got that. I got it off my website. So go to um, joesmastery.com. This is just free advertising. <laughs> nah. But just go to there and go to my footer and just copy that little dot thing if you really want that. Or you could, if you don't want to go through all that trouble, just do this. But I reckon that looks really cool. So before every single list item, I'm going to have a, uh, a bullet point. Just like that. See the little black thing? Yep. Now that looks really ugly at the moment. First of all, the color is not right. And one a little bit of padding. I think around how much do we need? 40 pixels. That's. Yep, yeah, around there. And how I got 40 pixels was I just. Um, because. The padding is 20 pixels on left and right, so just double that and you should get 40 pixels. Yep. And if you look, the first one here, we don't want that because there's nothing on this side. So once again, we're going to use another pseudo element. 
U L L I. And we're going to go first of type and the before. So before the first of type. And we don't want any content. Let's take a look. Perfect. Um, I'm pretty happy with that uh, footer. Yep. And uh, let's just try something. I'm just going to experiment this. I don't know if this is going to work out, but let's see. Okay, yeah, that didn't really work out. Basically, what I'm trying to do, if you take a look here, it's it's quite close to to the footer, the content. So what what I'm what I am going to do, let's go into our index here, and the blog. So the blog. Let's find the blog. Padding five pixels. Twenty pixels. <laughs> okay. What is this? I think this is each blog post. I need that. Oh, did I just do? Yeah, I did. Okay. Dot blog. There you go. Padding 20 pixels, zero. Yep, there we go. So we get a bit of padding here and there. Now, what I want to do also is just add, add, some, add some extra style and just make this look a bit better. I'm going to put a horizontal line in between each post. So, in our index.php, dot blog, um, inside here we're going to make another div called post. Uh, sorry. Move that in. And close the div here. So post, yep, yeah, alright. Then in the styles, in the blog section, I'm going to go dot post. And we're going to give it a border bottom of, let's go two pixels, solid, and a gray. Okay, what did I just do? I'm sorry about that. Let me just fix this. I think this should be the problem. Okay, sorry about that. So, there you can see we've got this nice border below each post. Now, once again, we do not want this last one because there's no post below that, the last one. So, once again, we're going to use pseudo elements.post. Last of type this time. And border none. Alright. Last of all, padding of 20 pixels and 0. I think 20 pixels might be a bit... Uh, we just need to fix this up, just like bottom, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now we have a pretty decent website. It's not complete, but it looks alright. And at this point, what we should do is before adding any, any more features we can look through and see what changes we can make so you can see the links here they aren't very nice so we're gonna make a new section um we'll put it right here called typography and here is where we add our general style like h1s links anchor tags we're gonna do our anchor tags first and we don't want text decoration we just want a different color. And what color should we want? I'm just gonna use my color styler. Oh gosh. Okay, that doesn't work. Anyways. Oh, it does work. Color picker. And let's just get this one. Let's see how that looks. Yep, there you can see this. And if you're wondering where I got that color picker from, it's a Chrome app. It's called Colorzilla. I'll put a link in the description to the uh, App Store. 
Chrome App Store if you want to get it. It's really useful, and I use it all the time in my web web development. So, the links are now different. And here, why that looks not very nice. So let's go to our single.php here. And let's just copy the author. The author section, the div. Let's just get that and put it above the tile. Looks a bit better. Yeah, that looks good. Author. And a bit more padding. Okay. Alright, so I was looking through my footage and I realized that the author name was not there. Now, this is because this is not in the blog loop. And we can quickly fix that right now. So, in the author tag here, let's just fix this one real quick. We want to put that inside the loop here. Yeah. Now that just changes everything. So what we should do instead is we should move the page title down below. Let's take a look now. Yep, there we go. So now the admin um, author link is there. Now to wrap things up, the last thing we're going to do is we have no home, like we can't go to our home page. And the only way is to basically just change the URL. So, and we don't have any home uh, link where we can make one, but I reckon a better way to do it is to make this redirect to our homepage. Let's go into our code, let's go into our header.php, and let's put a, a tag here, and a PHP tag, because our domain might change, you know, our URL might change, so we're just going to call this echo home URL. That's the href, and we'll wrap it around the name. Refresh the page, and now when you click on it, it brings us home. And if you really wanted to, you could change the color of the header. So we'll go to our site header h1, and we'll make a new uh, element, and we'll reference to the anchor tag inside the header. So here we'll just say color uh, dark gray. There we go. That's basically it. So if you liked this episode, uh, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you didn't, well, still share it because other people might like it. And yeah, so I'll see you again in the next episode and be sure to check out my website for and sign up for exclusive content. Bye. See ya.